Anybody this morning? Anybody coming to glory? Anybody come to give him praise?
Amen. It says, As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me, evening and morning and at noon. Will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. He has delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were many with me. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now say, Peace be with thee. Because of the house of the Lord, my God, I will seek thee good. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest deserve to do according to all the law, which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This is where the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest deserve to do according to all that is written therein. And then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Woo! People. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Verse 3. Yeah. 
that they need to look with. Yeah. I need to this way. Yeah. And they need to that way. Yeah. But in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the general, we all need Jesus Christ. Yeah. Each and every day. Yeah. In his name I pray. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah.
Yes, you know the Father name. Yes, we glorify you. He's moving in the room. Hallelujah. He's moving. Jesse and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. 
And it came to pass when they were come. And he looked on Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Amen. Then Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel. He said, Neither had the Lord chosen this. Then Jesse made Shammah to pass by, and he said, Neither had the Lord chosen this. Again, Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, The Lord hath not chosen these. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy children? And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest, and behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he come thither. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ready and withal of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. And Samuel arose and went. Oh, Let's hear that to the reading of God's word. Father, we thank you, God. Lord, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you Lord, we pray, God, that you move in this place this morning. Now, we feel your spirit. God, speak to us and let us hear what thou to say unto the church in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This morning, I want to ask you from a topic. Go back to verse 1. And Samuel said, How long will thou mourn for Saul, mm -hmm. seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Right. Fill thy horn with oil and go, and I will send thee to Jesse the Beth, for I have provided thee a king among his sons. This morning I want to speak from the top of there is a king in you. Right. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. There is a king. There is a king. In you. In you. I believe that the body of Christ is going through a major reaffirmation of who we are in the spirit realm. I believe that we are being represented Jesus Christ the Lord. And and where we are in him and where he is in us. All right. And because I believe that the, the pandemic, um, even though it was it was horrifying, it was something else, it was changed the direction, but I believe it changed the direction of the true meaning of the church. Amen. Because sometimes when we look at some pastors and leaders was almost trying to replace God. Mm. I wish I had it with you. Yeah. They were being honored, which we should honor leadership, but we should honor, but the Bible tells us to honor all the brotherhood. All right. Amen. And so, and I believe that God is representing, Jesus Christ is representing himself to his body. How do you know sometimes we can get comfortable doing a thing and we can be doing a thing totally wrong? Amen. But God deserves all the glory and all the praise and all the honor, and, and he redirected his church back to him. And so, and that's what happened with King Saul. Saul had got called by God, then got he got proud and wanted to do things his way. Mm -hmm. How many know that God? How many know that God shares His glory with no man? Amen. And God Amen. will shake some things up in order to get His glory and the focus back on Him. Amen. Amen. So I believe that God is doing some great things, and so God is doing some things in your life. And if anybody has found out that Jesus is. Is the king in your life. Amen. That he is the king of the people. Amen. He the king of his enemy, but he controls everything. Amen. The Bible says that the earth is the Lord's and the food of the world and the food of the earth, the world and they that dwell therein. So God is taking back over his earth, amen, amen. and his church. Yes. And I believe that we got some people who's looking forward to doing it. Because the Bible says in John 15, he said, I am the vine, yes. and ye are the branches. Yes. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do what? Nothing. Nothing. So I don't know about you, but I'm glad that Jesus lives on the inside of me. Because I don't know about you, but left to my own self, I'm, I'll wreck my own self. Amen. I wish I had a Oh, I say some stuff I ain't supposed to say because Christ that lives in me because in him I live and move and have my being. Amen. So we got to understand that there's a king living on the inside. Yeah. Amen. 
when we come to, um, to the understanding and the realization of who we are and the authority that we possess as kingdom-minded people, it will change our mindset and we will conduct ourselves with the kingdom pedigree that lives on the inside of us. The Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So my whole, my whole focus ought to be to walk how Jesus walked, talk how Jesus talked, live how Jesus lived, and then do what the things that Jesus did. Because, and the first thing he said, you will know you're my disciples if you have what? Love one for another. Amen. Amen. Look at the stories. Saul, yeah, God had anointed Saul. Mm -hmm. Told Saul, go kill all the Amalekites. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, sometimes when you think it's about you, you'll keep all the good stuff. Because guess what? Half, half, half of obeying is total to disobedience. Mm -hmm. So he kept all the good stuff. Yeah. Kept everything he wanted. Right. And then, and then when Samuel came back to him, he said, what is this sheep I hate? God said, kill man woman, boy, girl, sheep, animal. He said, kill everything. Right. I mean, know that, when, that when, when, when you don't deal with sin, sin going to come back to bite you. Amen. Amen. Right. So he said, so Samuel was praying for Saul. Sometimes we, sometimes we got to let folks go. I know, don't give up on them. Now, don't give up on to the Holy Spirit say give up on them. He said, but Samuel, why are you still mourning for someone who I have refused? Right. Right. I'll, give, I'll let him go, so you let him go. Amen. He said, now go. I got a king that's waiting. Amen. I got somebody who I put something on the inside, and they're waiting for you to come and anoint them. Amen. And they're going to take over. In the text, we see the prophet Samuel was sent to anoint David, the king of Israel. Even though someone was already holding the position. Mm -hmm. But I mean, in God's timing, David was sent. He was the next one in line for the job. And the thing that I like about God, is, and what you got to understand, these two people of God, is that I don't care who holding your position right now. They just keeping it to you, to you mature enough to step into it. So it don't matter what it looks. I don't care what house they got, what car they drive. I don't care what position they got on the job. If God said it's yours, that boss said it be not weary. Let us not be weary. Induce, let us not be weary. We will do it. But in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. Look at somebody take it. Don't you give up. I know it's been hard, but you hang on in there. Because guess what? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. David was out there keeping the sheep. Mm -hmm. He was the youngest. Uh -huh. He was doing what his father said. Mm -hmm. Keeping the sheep. Tending to him. See, but the thing was all that he was keeping the sheep. He was glorifying God in the midst of what he was doing. Amen. I know sometimes what you're doing seems like it's it, 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 it little. But when you, when you form a relationship with your God, David was out there keeping the sheep, but he was singing to God. Amen. He was keeping the sheep, he was picking up dumb, but guess what? He was writing songs. He was glorifying God. Because sometimes your best time with God when it's just you and him. But sometimes I can't get what I need from God in the midst of people. But sometimes I got to stay away, get away, stay away in my closet, and me and God just have a conversation. I can sing God, I love you, Jesus. And it's something about when it's just you and God alone. Amen. Hallelujah. But God knew what was what was in it. Amen. Because he put it there. And Jeremiah said, look what it said, Jeremiah. He said, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou came forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Don't you know what's in you was in you before your mom and dad even got together? He said, Come before I formed thee in thy mother womb, I put some stuff on the inside of you. I put some, put some love and some compassion. I put some kingdom on the inside of you. I knew you before you knew you. Amen. Amen. So don't let think it's strange when God called you. Amen. God know we jacked up. God know we flawed. God know we got issues. But that didn't stop. He said, because I know what I put on the inside of you. Amen. And it's going to come forth. Yeah. Don't go. I 
out here for this morning. Amen. So he calls, goes to Jesse. He said, bring out your sons. Because God has provided the king. Yeah. Here we go. So better that he flies. <laughs> he passed by. Like he got it all together. And Sam, see, the one thing we as men, we got to pray for discernment so we can see how God sees. We got to pray, God, open my eyes that I might see. Because he said, surely the Lord's anointed is a part of God. said, no. He said, you're looking on the outside. He said, well, I'm looking at the heart. Because David was known as a man after God's own heart. See, while a lot of people are auditioning for the part you're, you're being the part. Right. See, the one thing I understand with this anointing, man, you can't audition for this. Either you got it or you don't. You don't. Amen. All right, man. Amen. So while people are auditioning, they say people know church. Right. They know how to yell hallelujah. Uh -huh. They look at you long enough and know how to pray. But baby, you can only fake it for so long. Because right. <laughs> sooner or later, the situation going to rise and the real you going to come out. Amen. Mm. Because anybody can do one good thing one good time. <laughs> but one thing I find out that when the heat is on, the, when the pressure stands up, the real you going to come out. How do you come up? You mess with us? Because somebody the pressure come on, you mess around and cuss it and say some stuff that you're going to say. But baby, when God is on the inside of you, and nothing but God going to come out of me. Because what's on the end, what's on the inside of you, is going to come out of you. Amen. How many been in that position? Amen. Amen. Lord, I ain't even know that was in me. Because the right situation going to bring out some stuff that's really on the inside of you. Amen. Well. Why, but why David was being the part See, the thing is, you're loving God, you're praising Him, you're worshiping Him, you're writing songs to Him, but the least you, but at least, and the thing is, you're already doing what God has called you to do. Because right. David was taking care of the natural sheep, we were preparing for taking care of God's sheep. Oh. There's a king in you. He had all his sons passed. And Sam said, no, the God ain't chosen none of these. He said, wait a minute, are these all your children? Mm -hmm. He said, no, we still have the youngest. Mm -hmm. Bring him. <laughs> he out there keeping sheep. I got one. I got to share it. Some of you have been abandoned. You've been left. You've been forgot about. You've been pushed to the side. You've been passed over. But God said, I'm coming for what's on the inside. Amen. Amen. When everybody else was being elevated, everybody else was being promoted, God said, I know you. Amen. Jeremiah, stand for me, please, sir. As I was studying for this message, God sent you across my mind and put you in my spirit. He said, this season is hard for you. It's difficult. Because you have this vision on the inside. And you have to look at this like David. Regardless of how wicked Saul was, David honored him. This is an humbling for you. He said, you're humble. He said, but there's some more humbleness that need to come forth from you. He's anointed you to pastor, but it's still some more work. He said, just hold on, be still, and this is your learning season. Because here's the thing, you've been so used to people looking up to you, 
that we'll mess around and we'll always look down at people. God says, time to look to the hills. From which cometh your help. For your help coming for the Lord, from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. He says it's going to happen in due season, not your season. This is your season to learn. Because here's the thing. If pastoring was just preaching, everybody could do it. He's, he's maturing your compassion. He's maturing. Because sometimes the way we've grown up, you ought to be over that by now. But God said he's going he's to humiliate you to the people. He's going to give you his heart for his people. Yeah. And you're going to watch yourself. You're getting ready to grow tremendously. He said, but stay humble. Yeah. Give what Pastor Britton. Learn from him. Make him teach you. And then be open to what God is going to do. Yeah. It's going to listen. That's, that's, that's going to be your friend. Listen to her. Yeah. There's so much wisdom in her. And sometimes, we, and you like me, sometimes they be trying to touch the little one here. Mm -hmm. But God gave you a soulmate. Mm -hmm. Because, because no, no, no great man, no man has ever become great without a good woman by his side. Right, God. God has put some words in her mouth. And she's been sharing some stuff with you. And sometimes we won't hear because I think I know more. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, Bob says, submitting yourselves one to another yeah. in the sight of the Lord. And watch God start growing <laughs> you. And before you know it, you're going to be the pastor yeah. of Serenity Christian Fellowship. He said, this is an humbling yeah. Yeah. for you. Because sometimes we, we get so used to being the man that we don't want to follow the man. Yeah. But God said, this, he's taking this time and this season to grow you, mature you. Because he, you're going to be an end-time prophet, an end-time pastor. He says, well, now this is your learning curve. Yeah. Learn, sit, be taught, and then watch God start revealing stuff to you like you've never seen before. Amen. Listen, God, he said, so God said, I have not chosen these. But then as soon as David walked in the room, see, because one thing you gotta understand, because you're the because you're a king's kid, when you walk in the room, you're an atmosphere changer. Things don't get correct because demons begin to flee, not because they see you, but they see the king that lives on the inside of you. Amen. Don't want folk on fire. You. you ain't going to get invited to all the parties. You ain't going to get invited to the good guy. Why? Because if there's a king on the inside of me. People got to respect when the king shows up. Amen. Come on. Amen. So when David comes, so he was ruddy. He was red. He was good to look to. And, and God said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Yeah. Right. Tell somebody you ain't seen nothing yet. Because there's some folk talking about you in the room that you don't know nothing about. God's getting ready to elevate his people. So we gotta, gotta get in a position where we get humble, where we pray, seek his faith, and watch God move like you've never seen before. Amen. Are y'all with me? Yes, Let me show up. They're keeping the sheep. Because guess what? What you do alone with God is going to show up in public. Amen. Amen. If you ain't worshiping, you ain't going to worship in public. Amen. If you ain't praising, you ain't going to praise in public. That's why folk come to church and sit down because they're comfortable. Because at home, you ain't doing nothing. Amen. I wish y'all hear me in here. See, because a lot of times we manufacturing play, and anything that's manufactured does not please God. It's time for us to get back focused Amen. on the Word. We watch too much TV, too many videos. God's not looking for us, Sister Rivera, to get back in the place. When we first got saved, all we wanted was God and nothing else. We didn't understand the Bible, but we read it. And God gave us revelation. That's the way we can't get comfortable. We got to keep pushing forward. Amen. Like that the around said, there's more. But the woman said when she saw yes to the table, he said, yes. 
may cost you everything. Amen. It may cost you some relationships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It may cost you some family members. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It may cost you some events. Yeah, that's right. But I'd rather please God yeah. than please man any day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He wants your time. Because yeah. remember what you vowed to God? God still expects you to do that. Yeah. Remember you set a time that I'm going to pray every day? Guess what? God's still showing up every day. He's looking for you. He said, where are you? Because God is faithful. If we make a vow to you, it better not to make a vow than make a vow and don't keep it. God said, church is trying to get back focused. He said, because I'm in you, I'm moving. God has been dealing with all of us at certain times. He's telling us to pray, but because I'm so busy doing what I'm doing, I don't do it. Amen. Telling you to read. I'm too involved in watching videos. Mm -hmm. Too involved Thank you, Jesus. doing this, that. And so, don't you know Jesus is coming back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't know when he's coming back. But he's coming. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But I don't know about you, but I don't want to let the Lord catch me with my work undone. Because I'm looking for the day I want to stand before God and God say, Well done, thou good and faithful son. Yes. Thou have been faithful over a few things. Yes. I'll make you rule over many. So we got to start back getting faithful to the few. Because yes. we want many. But God said, What are you doing with what's on the inside of you? Yes. What are you doing with Jesus? Because the king is on the inside of you. What are you doing with him? Yes. Where are we taking him? I want to hoop and holler, but I, I want us to get back focused. Amen. Amen. Get back to loving God. Yeah. To desiring to be. Why won't I show up to church? Because mm -hmm. I'm showing up, I'm showing up to a building, but you are the church. Amen. And He lives on the inside of us. I want you to pray. Then I want you to do something with your prayer. When are you going to put feet to your prayers? As Jeremiah even preached, it's time for us. What are we doing with the king? Are we honoring the king? It's amazing how we'll honor a man instead of the one who controls the man. Right. Amen. 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 They are hear me. Because before you're ever called that, you would already be doing that. Mm -hmm. Because we were elders. We were doing elder stuff before we got the title. David was anointed in the midst of his brother, the king of Israel, and when he was 17. He was 30 when he took the throne. Why? Because he had to go through some trial yeah. and some error. Yeah. He had to make some mistakes. Because yeah. everything, look at everything that you've been through, Dr. Kim, up until now, mm -hmm. was designed to make you who you are right now. Because yeah. what the Bible says, and we know that all things work together yeah. for good to them that love God, yeah. to them who are the, the called according to his purpose. So everything, even the good and the bad. So we can't complain when things are going bad. We even got to give it praise when things, are, when things get a little rough. Come on, we got to be like Job and say, naked I came in the world, naked I leave. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He lost everything. Can you still give it praise when you lose what's dear to you? Amen. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. He lost everything in one day. He lost all that. He was a wealthy man and the enemy has come to God on your behalf. He said, God, if, he said, they are only praising you because you blessed them. And you got a wife, you got a hedge around him. Remove the head. He lose everything. He'll cuss you to your face. Right. Mm. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. But God said, wait a minute. He said, Job, 
is upright. He is sure of evil. He said, go ahead and touch everything you got. You just can't touch him. Can God brag on you? Can he tell the devil, touch everything that the around the has? Touch everything Deacon Hill has? And he ain't going to cuss you? Because he, he's faithful. See, because how we serve God doesn't matter when things are going good. Everybody can give God praise when, when the bills are paid, when you ain't got to work with food on the table. But baby, what happens when you lose all your children, you lose all your money in one day? And not only that, said, while, while one was speaking, here comes another. While that one was speaking, here comes another. Can you lose everything and say, blessed be the name of the Lord? Because the way this world is going, we're going to lose some stuff. Yes, we are. We're going to lose some people. Amen. Amen. I got to go preach the funeral for my nephew, 19 years old, got murdered. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but even in the midst of that, yeah. I still got to give him praise. praise and so then when he didn't curse God, when he didn't curse God, he said, well, he got his health. Mm -hmm. I said, touch him. His body. Whatever you, whatever you want, just can't kill it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Job had struck with sickness. Mm -hmm. He had boils all over his body. Now he was in so much pain that he took the face and broke it. Mm -hmm. And he had to scrape mm -hmm. the boils off his body. Head to toe. He was miserable. And the only relief he had was when dogs came and licked his wounds. And then those who were his friends said, You sinned against God. Have anybody ever been lied on? Been wrongfully accused? And yet, you still hung into that. Joe didn't say a word. They sat there with him for seven days. I still suffer. But we got to be like Apostle Paul. He said, I've learned that whatever state I'm in, they're with me to teach. Right. If I got it, I'm still going to praise him. Mm -hmm. If I don't got it, I'm still going to give him glory. Amen. But guess what? God has been faithful. Amen. And guess what? If he, brought, if he did it before, guess what? He can do it again. Right? Because he lives on the inside of me. And he has gifted me. He's empowered me. He's given me the strength to keep on going, even in the midst of heartache and pain. I still will give God praise. I still will lift up my voice. I still will lift up my hand and magnify the King of Glory. Why the Bible says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name. I want to know if I got some folk in here that's going to give God praise no matter what. Can we give God praise in the midst of it all? The most storm may be raising in my life, but because I have the king on the inside of me, I know that he's going to protect me and he's going to bring me through this one. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The one thing I found out, elders, is that when you're anointed, you don't have to promote yourself. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when you got the gift of God, they're going to come looking for you. Because I know I can get a word out of you. I know you're going to pray. You're going to help me pray it through. Because guess what? It's getting ready to come. That's why God has blessed him. He said, and when the Holy, and ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. They're coming because I need to hear a word coming out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. When we understand. In those days, people came to the king mm -hmm. for answers mm -hmm. to life's trouble. Yes. But since Jesus ain't on the earth, mm -hmm. in the physical realm, mm -hmm. he's in each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come to you because I know I'm going to hear something from the king. Mm -hmm. 
And because, and when you speak with the king's authority, guess what? He'll back it up. He said, I've given you the keys to the kingdom, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. But we got to start speaking with the authority of the king. I wish I had a witness. Amen. See, because it's time off for preachers hooping and hollering and saying nothing. Right. No. Folk are getting excited and leaving broken. Right. They're jumping and shouting but don't even remember what the preacher was preacher. Right. Those days are over. Amen. These are folk that's presenting Christ with power and authority. Because once Jesus touches your life, baby, I guarantee you, you'll never be the same. Amen. So you don't have to promote yourself because when you show up, they're going to come looking for you. Amen. How many folk on your job, they don't talk to you much, but when they need something, they know who to come to. <laughs> they know who can get a prayer through. Amen. They know, see, because we don't, I don't really know yeah. I'm praying for you. No, let's pray right now. Yeah, let's go to God right now. Because I know it's something on the inside of you. Yeah. I, I don't have it, but I know you got it. Amen. And we got to be willing to open ourselves up. Because thou, because one thing we have to understand that even in the midst of it, our Bible says, God, thou prepares the table <coughs> before me. Yes. Even in the presence yes. of my enemies. So see, my, that, my last point, people got got to understand that let your enemies come against you. <laughs> let them say what they're going to say. No, let them do what I'm going to say. Let them do because you hit me now. We're going to have some issues. Amen. <laughs> Can we be honest? But God said, let them come because guess what? I can't elevate you until they're there. Mm -hmm. well, I wish I had a baby. He said, I want them there. I want them to see me bless you. And then God going to cause your enemy to bless you. Amen. And for God, you say, I don't know why I'm doing this, but God, something just told me to give you this. Because right. one thing we have to understand is my last one. So, David, so Samuel anointed David. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. Yeah. The Spirit wants to jump on you. But he, but he feel with the Holy Spirit. He already lives on the inside of us. The last scripture, First John four four, says, "Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world." If you don't remember nothing else I said, you are who you are. Because Christ Amen. lives in you. Amen. Amen. He lives in us. Mm -hmm. So now, He lives in us. We have to represent Him or represent Him in the right manner. Mm -hmm. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Because one thing we have to understand, because He is in us. And we abide in him mm -hmm. and his words abide in us. He said, we'll bring forth my truth. So my question to you is, what kind of fruit are you bearing? Amen. Is it bitter? Or is it sweet? Will people get sick from eat tasting you? Or will they get healed from tasting you? Amen. So we got to conduct ourselves yeah. in the way that Christ did. Yeah. But it's amazing how many people preach about everybody else yeah. but Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Because when I get to glory, I appreciate Dave, appreciate Paul, Matthew, Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. When I get to glory, everybody stand up. I want to see him. Jesus. Amen. He's the one who died for me. Yes. 
He gave his life for me. It's through his shed blood that I was forgiven for sin. But Christ is in you. Let's live how Christ lives. We're not perfect. We're not going to always do everything right. But my goal ought to be striving to be like him. Amen. And as I become more like him, the better off I'll be. Yes. Father, we thank you. Thank you, We bless you. Yes, Lord. We give you glory. Yes, Lord. For deciding to live in us. Yes, yes, yes. You gave your life so that we could have access to the tree of life. Yes, Lord. Lord, help us where we struggle. Please. Give us strength where we weak. Yes, Lord. For we acknowledge, God, we need you. I need you, God. Like never before. Have my mama shot. Lord, we need you. Yes, Lord. We can't make it without you. Yes, You're our shield. You're our butler. Yes, Lord. You're our provider. Yes, Lord. We give you praise, God. Thank you, Lord. For we are nothing, God, without you. We need to bless our homes, God. Bless our children, God. Keep them safe, God. Lord, let us be witnesses, God, of your love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Whosoever believed in him shall not pay. But have that blessed life. Touch these devils, God. Yes, Lord. Keep a word in their mouth. Yes, Lord. Keep directing us, God. Yes. Keep showing us you. Yes, Lord. Keep showing us your glory. Yes, Lord. Lord, we need to see your glory. We need to see the Show us your glory. Yes, Lord. As you show Moses your glory. Keep us, God. On the straight and narrow. Yes. Forgive us our sins, God. Jesus. Forgive us, God, our trespasses. Yes, Lord. Lord, we love you. Yes. More than anything. God, we love you more than life itself. We love you, Lord. How about my, my, my shot, God? We magnify your name. God. Yes, Lord. Continue to lead and guide us, God. Jesus. Lord, in this world, God, let us be a beacon, God, for some lost person, God. God, let us keep loving each other. Let us keep holding each, up each other's hands, God. Strengthen us, God. Let us be the men and women of God that you call in these last and evil days. We give you glory. Lord, we pray for the sick. God, anybody that has any ailments, God, we speak healing yes, yes, right now in the name of Jesus. God. Yes. Not just physical, God, for even mental health. Yes, Lord. Thank you. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, we believe you're going to do it. Let us begin to stand on your promises, God. Your promises, yes. For man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Yes. Good man, man. Yes. Send us, God. Direct us to our purpose. Protect us. Direct us to our destiny, God. Yes, Lord. Lord, that some people, they, that they won't see us, God, but they'll see you living in us, speaking through us. Yes, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's in that name, God, the name that's about everything. Let your spirit continue to show us the truth. That we be not deceived, God, but that we walk according to your, your commandments and your statutes and your ordinances. In the name of Jesus. We give you honor. Lord, we give you praise. God, we give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Come on, put your hands together and give God the glory. Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let's give the Lord a hand clap for that word that was given to us through the faith this morning. Hallelujah. A word that I'm sure, I don't mean, speak for myself. I need it this Amen. morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for that word. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You. I give all praises to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We're going to go into our announcements. Or ask that you protect them on the highways they head to St. Augustine in yes. Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're still raising our building fund for to pay off serenity. We have raised nine thousand seven hundred and sixty-eight dollars so right. far. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We are on Woo! our way. Hallelujah. Yes. We're gonna have a yard sale on the sixteenth of July. We have not received anything yet for this yard sale. Please, 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 if you have anything extra sitting around, please contact me so that we can get it to the church and get it uh, sorted out. Amen? Amen. 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 We have a birthday, Sister Shantia, is July the 10th. Amen. Amen. Today. Amen. Amen. I don't know if you've heard that she lost her sister this week. Yeah. Keep her in your prayers. If you have call her. You know, don't just keep her in your prayers. Call her and encourage her on today. Amen. Amen. And my grandmother's birthday is the 14th. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Another year. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And that's all. Am I missing any announcements? Any other birthdays? No? Amen. Oh, Bible study every Wednesday Amen. at 7 p.m. If you are missing Bible study, you are missing a word from God. Amen. We are on mm -hmm. line... I don't know. Bible study is so good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm learning so much in the way we're doing it now. And being able to do it from my own home, all I got to do is log in. Sometimes I don't even have to speak. But as long as you're logging in and we're fellowshipping together and we're going through that word together, Amen. we are getting stronger every day. Yes. It is important for us to fellowship. It is important for us to go over our word together. Amen. 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 So we're all getting an understanding of what the word means. Yes, yes we get up here on, on, on Sundays and we preach, but a lot of times we don't have that um, question answer thing where you're like, oh, hold on, I need to know what the truth is with this. Amen. So if you're not getting on, get on. If you don't know how to get on, we can teach you how to get on. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So don't use that as an excuse if you don't know how to get on. All right? That's, that's an excuse. <laughs> Amen. 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 And you know what else? You can even call in and not even show up. Amen. 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 Before we go, any takeaways from the word this morning? Amen. Amen. Hey, I just, hey, when he said the king in us, hey, you know, I, I realized, hey, God lives inside of us, so there's always a king inside of us. Amen. And we just got to get in line with it, connect with it, do the things that David was doing. Who was made king and uh, fed on. Amen. And when people know, they know that they know what he said at the end. Mm -hmm. There's people like my job, ain't, ain't, all I do is speak and uh, pass by, ain't never said a word to them. Mm -hmm. But when the chips are down, they know, they, they come know. to me. They know. Uh, <laughs> could you pray for me? Amen. Uh, what church you go to? Uh, you know. And God is good. Amen. 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 Um, he, he also in the was talking about um, in the word of God, well, God sent the prophet and uh, Jason had seven sons. And the outward appearance was what man and Jason seemed like he was looking for. But mm -hmm. God saw something in David yeah. that he wanted David. And Amen. it was like when he saw David, it was like Samuel had already received confirmation from God. Well, mm -hmm. That's the one. Amen. This Amen. is the one, the one that's going to be the king. Right. That's this is the one that needs to be anointed. Yes. 
So I took that like me, for instance. A lot of people will see us like, oh man, he, he's not right, he tore up, he this and that. This happened with him in his life. I don't think he'll be the one that, you know, we would want to be involved with or we would want to be a friend or whatever. But <laughs> people yeah. sometimes, man, because yeah. I remember when I was going through my hard time, I was tore up from the floor. I thought I was a castaway. Uh, I couldn't receive no help that I needed. Uh, I, my words didn't come out right. I was just in a very desolate place. But when I turned my will and my power over to God, it's like God just saw me yeah. as a complete, like, I'm like, I love you. Amen. And when he saw me, he saw gold. Yeah. He saw a diamond in the rough. Yes, he did. Because he came to my knee mm -hmm. and he healed me. Yes. He fixed me. Yes, he did. But nobody else would do that. Yeah. Nobody else saw that in me. That they said, well, hey, look, he need help. I need to help him. Mm -hmm. I see something in him. No, they didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Only somebody had done that was God in my life. Amen. So I thank God that he see us. Way totally different than man to see us, than a yeah. woman to see us, than people would see us, man. Because Amen. he searched the hearts of men, and he he know how to find that diamond in that rust. Yes, and I thank you. Amen. 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 Any other takeaways? Amen. Offering as well. Leave your offering. Um, we have our cash app, and the usher will also have the basket in the back of the church. Um, we do need funds to continue to keep Amen. the lights on, Amen. the air on, and everything else. You know, so give it, it, give unto what God tells us to give. And I know I need to do better with that. Amen. There's no excuse that we're, you know, we don't have, we may not have enough money to, to keep the lights on. Amen. And the passive first lady shouldn't always keep the lights on. Amen. 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 Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. As we're standing, go ahead and go into the seat. <laughs> is it Serenity Church? Is it Serenity Jack? What's the cash app? Dollar sign. Dollar sign. Serenity Church Jack. Serenity Church Jack. Amen. For all those who are online. No. What is it? Dollar sign Serenity Jack. Dollar sign Serenity Jacks. Just make sure you say it before you say it. <laughs> <laughs> a child saved and a soul saved. So bless, bless the life. We're dismissed. Amen. 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 I don't know. I'm getting up to something. No, I'm really. <laughs>